Let us analyze curator support for VLANs. But just in case that some of you may not be fully aware about VLANs, let me allow me to do a short introduction in terms of VLANs and how they are used to improve security. So for many, many years now, networking people have been using uh, VLANs to separate traffic. Let's say that I have a, an HR group of people on, let's say that this is building one that belongs to the HR department. So I have another HR person in here and I want to make sure that the traffic between this network is only seen by those guys. So I put them into a VLAN and I say that this is the 60.net. And I say I have also have some finance guy. I'm going to put them in the 70 net. So I put another finance guy in here. And this traffic is actually uh, separated. This happens within the switch, but also this can be extended to to another building. Let's say that I have in building two, I have another switch. And then what I do is I connect the two of them by what is called a trunk. In, and of course, physical access to this trunk should be restricted if you want security out of this, because here the traffic, if you put a sniffer here, then all the traffic comes commingle into it. But if you are looking at it from this perspective, the traffics are like if they were completely separated networks. And people use that today. Let's say I want to have the printers into its own VLANs, and I want to have voice over IP or wireless uh, access point uh, for guests or whatever. So definitely this improves security. It's not, you know, ultra high security, but definitely it, 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 it improves your security posture quite a bit. Now, this concept of VLAN also allows for nesting. So you don't only have like those VLANs, but there, there are two parameters that can be used one is called enterprise VLAN ID, meaning I can have several companies, you know, uh, with different segment, and you also have customer VLAN ID. And, and this is something that is very attractive to MSSPs, so people that, you know, for example, sell networking or sell curator to multiple companies and they want to have them separated obviously because you don't want company A to see what's happening uh, on company B so they can separate different customers by uh, taking advantage of those attacks uh, those uh, VLANs IDs and how can you use that well let's say that from the security standpoint and in curator let's say that you want to make sure that you have an, an offense that fires whenever you get for example voice over ip on vlan you know finance x or whatever right uh, so if that happens you want an offense to be fired and i'll show you how you create a rule to do that and, and of course as we said before for mssps i want to have a SOC operator one only watching the traffic for company, you know, one, etc. It doesn't have to be for multi companies. You may also have, let's say, I, I only want this guy to see the, the, you know, whatever is the network traffic in Germany and, and not in the US. And before I keep forgetting, I learned all this from my good friends, Holly Wright in, in uh, Australia and Leopoldo Aguirre, also known as Polo. I forgot to actually mention that. They, they show me all these. And the, the nice thing about Curator, and this is on 732, right? In 732 Q flows, not only you can see these tags, enterprise and customer VLANs IDs, but also when you create a domain, and I'll show you that later, when you create a domain, you can actually assign the domain to a specific customer VLANs ID and enterprise VLAN ID. And of course, you can extend this further on the concept of the tenants. So all that nice support exists now in Curator. Let's actually see it in action. So I replace some pickups in my Curator system and, and I have Q flows, of course, uh, 
ready here and let's take a look at one of those packets as you see here uh, what is it yeah here it is enterprise vlan id 102 customer vlan id one and these are the fields that we'll see that are supported for both offenses as well as uh, as the domain concept if we go back and we analyze uh, some other traffic in here we see that you know we see that again uh, this is VLAN ID 500 and customer IDs 500, uh, 500 and 100. So you can use this tag to assign different segments to different domains and to have rules to check on whether the traffic is actually uh, separated as you would expect. So if we go to the admin tab and we go to domains, Go into domain management, and I don't have any domains in my in my demo system. But let's say that I add one. I'm going to call it, you know, test or company one or whatever. And notice that the beautiful part is that I have this uh, flow here. In okay, you can do the standard selection of the flow. But what is new in 732 is that you have those VLANs IDs in which you can select, for example, here, you know, 500 and 100 here, and, and that's how you assign that all that traffic belongs to that domain. Once you've done that, I'm not going to do all these uh, deploy changes and all that to keep the video short. Uh, then you can, of course, extend that to tenant and assign which domains belong with what tenant. That's particularly for MSSPs or even for people that are not in the S S uh, MSSP business. Uh, you can create now a user uh, and, uh, and make sure that that user only can see things in this particular domain. I show that when I in the video that I did on domains and multi-tenancy. So, so that is uh, the, the important part again is that in the domain you have support for those uh, those tags. Let's actually see what are the things that we can do in terms of rules with this information. So I'm going to use the very same example that Holly uh, showed me here. So I'm here on my uh, Offenses tab under Rules, and I'm going to uh, create a new flow rule. And uh, let's say that I want to see, I want to make sure that the traffic on the VLAN, which Enterprise ID is 0 and the Customer ID is 500, that does not show, does not contain any voice over IP traffic. The way you do that, you search for that, the easiest way is to search for the word hex here. And that's the property that you want to add. And you want to do things like when, whenever of these properties. And then you put here, you filter for VLAN. And notice that you have customer, VLAN, and enterprise ID VLAN. And you have all these other parameters in here. But let's actually use the enterprise VLAN ID and add it here. And so when the VLAN ID is uh, zero, which is the one of the ones that we had in there and we're going to put zero here and submit and now i need to test i need to add another of these conditions for checking for the customer vlan id so again as we did before we put here vlan and now customer vlan and the tricky part in here is that you need to specify that number in hex so go and look for your hex calculator and if you put in there 500 you'll find that this will be 1F4. Okay, And uh, you add that and now you, you are making sure that this is the traffic that you know should, should uh, not contain any voice over IP and I'm just making this example. So let's look for the network uh, 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 voice over IP. So I'm going to look for local network yeah that's the thing condition that i want and i'm going to select here for my network hierarchy voice over ip i add it submit so you get you get the the the, the point of the logic basically if i see any one of these uh, vlan traffic that belongs to this particular company having you know anything on the voice over ip boom, I, th this test condition will be met 
and the offense uh, and the rule will will uh, will can contribute to an offense or can trigger but the rule gets gets evaluated so again i hope that you get a feeling of you know, this nice support that 732 brings for people that rely on VLANs and wants to use those VLANs support within Curator, again, for rules or for uh, segregating who can actually use this and what, and for MSSPs to make sure that they can separate, uh, manage their customers that they are have segregated using, using VLANs in this, uh, with this uh, way in Curator.